the local station. The 10 o'clock news starts now. Right now at 10, an Instagram account going viral and sparking widespread outrage at a pri private Christian school in Jacksonville. Some of the posts mock George Floyd and use the N-word. The page is called White at Providence, referring to Providence School of Jacksonville. The school is condemning the posts and launching an investigation to figure out who is behind them. News for Jacks reporter Kelly Wiley joins us live. She's tracking the latest in what seems to be a string of offensive posts linked to local schools. Kelly? Well, to understand this, you have to understand this all starts with a growing trend. Uh, students, alumni posting to social media anonymously about their experiences with racism. They're usually under the account black at and then the school name. But now accounts called white at are popping up on social media too. One of them is claiming to be linked to a local school and recently posted derogatory posts on social media. Today, Providence School of Jacksonville is condemning racist social media posts on Instagram. The account White at Providence was created in reaction to a growing trend across the nation. Anonymous accounts posting stories of racism experienced inside America's elite schools. Accounts have been created for private schools and magnet schools in Jacksonville and has drawn dramatic reaction from administrators saying they will do better. I think it gave um, um, the faculty and staff at Providence an opportunity to examine themselves. But the account White at Providence is drawing a different reaction. The account, which has now been deleted from Instagram, posted a picture of George Floyd calling him the N-word. Providence School of Jacksonville is issuing a response saying the posts are not affiliated with Providence School and that after seeing the post, we took action and immediately reported it to Instagram as inappropriate. The school went on to say, as we investigate specific offensive accounts, we will take the appropriate actions following our code of conduct. Providence School Board member Ken Jefferson, who is also the News for Jack's crime and safety analyst, says he was disgusted after viewing the post. When I saw the post filled with hatred, spewing out all type of inflammatory things uh, against a race of people, they weren't just expressing their opinions on their experiences, they were degrading uh, another race. And, and, and that's exactly what they did. We're definitely looking into it uh, to find out who, um, who did it. If it's a student, then um, that student will be dealt with. If it's someone else that's affiliated with Providence, that person will be dealt with as well. And just to be clear with you, Ken Jefferson is a board member with the school. That's why we talked to him regarding this story. In reference to the Black at Providence page, the page where people have been posting uh, their anonymously about their experiences with racism, he says he hopes from this he'll start to see some of those folks come forward, share their names with the board, the faculty, and uh, have a deeper discussion about their experiences from there. Um, we also told you earlier in the week about uh, bulls and other schools across Jacksonville who are dealing with um, the testimonies coming out of these pages, these black app pages, and they say they too are working to grow from that and create programs that can address some of these issues. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Kelly.